the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah And I mistook you for a son It don't matter what we think when it's all over Cause this is our last chance Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Today is July 29, 2022. It is 1.50 a.m. I've been up quite a while. Um, I was not going to record anything today because there's no major news. So instead, I was going to focus on videos that I've already recorded but have not edited. Then I went on Twitter. I was trying to avoid Twitter because I wanted to focus on editing. Then I went on Twitter to look for the image of the metadata that was being uploaded onto uh, KP. I saved it somewhere in my computer. I can find it. So I went on Twitter. Then I start seeing tweets after tweets after tweets regarding the pegging. I know, uh, is it Sussex Royal? Baron had covered that. So I was like, you guys already knew about it. So I'm not going to even bother covering it. But I was dying laughing reading some of the tweets. So I said, let me record it instead of wasting my time, you know, reading the things on my own. So this is my back end. I was uh, uploading this video, episode uh, 226, season 3, episode 266. Uh, 226 so that's the same thing again for those who are new this is why sometimes you get videos late all right because i have to request that almost all of my videos my videos are not safe <laughs> youtube always want to review them okay so we review most videos within seven days so this is why you see some of my videos late and this is why i like to promote other uh, Sussex Squad, positive Sussex Squad uh, channels because they're more up to date. But mine, YouTube don't give it a pass, okay? Very rarely, occasionally. So I'm not gonna say all of my videos. Occasionally they let it pass, but I'm like on a freaking radar 
every time I upload something. Uh, but you guys have seen some of my videos, you could understand why. <laughs> All right, so I request for them to review it. All right, so I put this for August 2nd, and today is uh, July 29th. All right, so this is the video with uh, Princess Diana. What did I call it? The guys already approved her legacy. All right, so that's that. Uh, okay, close that. Sometimes I like to show the background, so there it is, limited. All right, so <laughs> they're um, waiting for it to be reviewed. Um, so they have approved all the other videos. All right, let's see how many subs that I have. So new subscribers, welcome. Let's go on Twitter. All right, so I bookmark a whole bunch. They're not really in the order that I saw them, but I sort of put them in relevance. All right, so let's start. Prince William, I want a bigger profile outside of the UK. The Prince of Pegging hashtag. <laughs> the reason I put this uh, first, because it's true he's been wanting spotlight 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 so he wants spotlight bigger than that freaking island so now the world is know him for prince of peggy <laughs> all right so let's read some of the comments okay what i love is that middle bum is too old-fashioned for that but not too old-fashioned to flash the world multiple times question is what did she do to get Diana's ring in the first place. A lot of gold digging, social climbing, chasing eggplant, female have worked their hands and knees off for the ring. But once they have access to his bank account and whatnot, they want to be a the virginal naive lady. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna go into that comment. When I check my Twitter, well, let, let's say, I, b I believe not everybody wants to be in that position because I came across a couple things where he had, there's a, a American uh, young lady who went to his school. I think he, her name was Megan, spelled with two N at the end. All right, I covered that. She did not want to date him. All right, so maybe there's one, another branch of his jealousy that Harry was able to get a Megan, but he could not get a Megan himself, American Megan. <laughs> all right so let's see here when i check my twitter timeline and saw this i just stare for more than 30 seconds like there's those eyes when he go to the usa i have a feeling it is going to be worse than jamaica <laughs> sam sam i like okay this is interesting okay he keen to widen his circle there's that and ryanair has saved him a seat i think i have a tweet about that did they retweet that but someone put that what is it? Green air. William, we save your seat. All right, celebrity, she tags some people when I'm going to get a new podcast. All right, so let's move on to the next tweet. I really don't want to spend an hour, but I think it will be more than an hour because I really want to finish edit the other one. Next tweet. All right, how to get pegged safely. This, I'm not going to read it, but I'll put the link in the description. I already read it and I do not want to read it on my video and uh, you guys could read it yourself the link will be in the description sometimes there are a lot of links in the description but i'll try to minimize uh some links that has nothing to do with this video okay ba -ha -ha. you are shady as f be brave like Rene. there's this again not you guys trolling the future king of england ma -ha -ha. considering that the environment is one course close to many people there are eco-friendly option prince william of peg <laughs> pound prince of pegging oh my lord these people what is this now playful promises we heard the prince supports green causes oh my god good things our eco-friendly toys are fully oh my god is it playful promises is that a company no oh my god he's not this is crazy good thing our eco-friendly toys are fully biodegradable prince of pegging okay playful promises is that a company it might be I, I changed my background because the white background is too bright for my eyes playful promises lingerie london design iconic brand. <gasps> the company is talking about him Sh let's go into it oh my god google is gonna flood my uh thing Pfft. oh shit no let me get out of there so youtube don't 
black my videos oh my god i completely forgot so they are talking about it <laughs> that's embarrassing oh my god people are laughing stop hey kensington royal i think <laughs> i think this is for you apparently they all had added by now no need for lesson <laughs> believe me probably all of them <laughs> couple of times um couple years ago there's one picture i came across i'm not gonna say which picture and i was recording i held my tongue i had a feeling about that i don't think it's just him okay i don't think it's just him i'm not gonna say who i'm thinking but i don't think it's all it's all him and also the person that i'm thinking i think they 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 force it on him okay that's what you know what i'm let me move my mind from this let's go to the next tweet there's a picture i came across when i was doing it and then i stopped myself short and i'm not surprised about this at all okay all i got next tweet all i gotta say is they better hope black twitter is not bored today because if they catch a whole of this prince of pegging trend is gonna be a mess prince william's affair <laughs> it's already going viral is it going here the sussex squad trending uh nah they're saying uh, what is it the haters are probably going about the uh, megan here all right they're trying to change course but it's not happening all right let's see here i don't even know what the hell pegging is i do know that the wrong son will be king the right son will be king harry will be too constrained by the nonsense protocol and will accomplish 10 times more outside of the royal family we just watched the 96 year old queen stand on a balcony for two hours instead of sitting comfortably that's insane but protocol was <laughs> that makes sense all right so i'm american i never heard the british term pegging before so i google it <laughs> and i haven't stopped laughing since william omg what <laughs> was as a top oh my god <laughs> let's be and i was just like <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like <laughs> the squad always come with the perfect the perfect clips okay is it just a British term I'm American and I first heard I first okay I guess this is the word heard I first heard of it about 15 years ago from a physician okay too late black twitter done found the prince of peg hashtag they should have never gave y'all social media <laughs> yep uh is it just me every time i read something descriptive i clench <laughs> that's the thrust of it okay i hope black twitter find this hashtag i want to laugh for hours today okay why the black twitter let's this here the best side of twitter black twitter is a word to describe the collective identity of black users on twitter when it is going to kick off i need a laugh today I'll tell you where they catch they go on black Twitter kick off when Twitter kick off <laughs> we don't open or <our> close <laughs> we've always been here we'll be here until Twitter ends <laughs> oh my god it's the best I look on with envy okay <laughs> How to bring race into every topic i doubt i doubt black twitter green twitter or coomarine twitter will view this differently from anyone else yeah okay this wasn't for you so move along <laughs> okay all i gotta say i'm glad my 87 year old mom isn't on the computer i ain't explaining that to her too late black twitter remains undefeated <laughs> is fine of the funny side of things me i don't know what pegging is my sister um do you want to me since many i googled it tweets that seem regretful let me take on it all right not sure if most black people know what pegging is and if i bring it up in my dad's house it will be holy water time <laughs> I had to google i had to google it just now i never heard of that term can't be a mess nah not if he flits too late not captain america already tweeted about it then can't see because uh, he blocked me all right so there's more let's move on to the next one okay 
I'm already 30 minutes. I can't believe this. Next tweet. All right. <laughs> Not Prince of Pegging trending in France. Oh my God, even in France. All right. Andrew trending in France. Andrew trending Prince of Pegging. <laughs> Which Andrew? There's so many Andrew. Is it Prince Andrew? <laughs> of all things, oh my God. Oh God, my side is hurting this morning. Poor baby Prince. <laughs> trending here in the US as well. All right, Sussex Squad is trending over here. All right, Tyler Perry's sister airing on BT that I was seeing also. Pose for Prince of Pegging. Oh my God, there it is here. The third one. There's the laugh. Here in the US of A as well. Prince of Pegging. <laughs> he wanted spotlight. There's the spotlight. Who not him trending in Kenya. Oh my god. He's trending there too. <laughs> there it is. Trend for you. Uh, trending in Kenya. Prince of Pegging. <laughs> Kakodulu do. <laughs> Bunt over how he likes it apparently prince of pegging oh my poor eyes <laughs> trending here in switzerland too you need to show proof if you don't show a screenshot it doesn't exist canada too literally just woke up to this lol pegging <laughs> the emoji that's funny all right there's this here there's that oh my god does he really look that flimsy yeah he needs to do some yoga i guess by the alignment is horrible. Love, drunk mistakes, we're bound to hit the ground. Gotta keep this feeling, keep on breathing, even if we're slipping away. So I close my eyes and lose myself now. Do it like it's only a day. We got a party for a lifetime. No, we ain't stopping for the sunrise. <laughs> After me, ready? Happy? Oops. Happy? New? New? New! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
by the alignment is horrible but then again this is someone who loves pegging so i don't think he really care about that <laughs> good lord this app williams being a big old bottom is most interesting things about him but as any queer person will tell you that's still pretty boring prince of pegging oh my god entry level shit <laughs> <laughs> entry level shit call me when he gets into fisting oh my god <laughs> call me when he gets into fisting oh my god these people are crazy okay lord jesus i'm ruined <laughs> girl people woke up today straight up choosing violence <laughs> oh girl internet is staying undefeated like forever it never disappoints does it it's a peg full of laugh when the peg of tricks are out pegging for a friend how this keeps coming out oh my god these people are ridiculous okay i can't even take it uh, that's okay seems like the prince of peg certainly can <laughs> It's the response to some idiotic tweet and they become more idiotic of a response and it's funny as hell. I don't really care what William does in his bedroom but I'm sure enjoying him being dragged by so many after the hell his side has caused Meghan and Harry. I'm telling you exactly my feeling too. This is the thing. We really don't care. If he had mind his own business, we will leave him alone but he keeps on poking and poking onto Megan and Harry's business so whenever something like that happened the internet go crazy the one who see the unfairness of his behavior they drag him what a lovely day on the internet good lord <laughs> the dog's face okay there's this people closing their laptop I hear he's into dogging oh my god okay fisting this app makes one cackle like a hyena every day <laughs> the image all right good lord is it william a prince is he talking about the prince william oh my god yes ma'am what did i just read what in the world is going on i'm really scared to ask i had to look up pegging but what's fisting you don't even want to know if you know enough about pegging, just think of a fist doing the same thing. Today is going to be something. Oh Lord, I'm dying. Jeez, Budo, this one was my fifth. LOL. All right, people still going as <laughs> the GIF. Next tweet. <clears throat> Already 17 minutes. I do not want to make this video long. There's Chris Evan. I love Chris Evan. Look, there's nothing wrong with Prince William enjoying getting his back blown out. <laughs> getting his back blown out if that's what he he um if okay look there's nothing wrong with prince william enjoying getting his black blown out he and his mistress are into i just need him and his racist family to keep megan's name out of their mouth pretty much i agree with him all right there's the laugh t prince of pegging there's this here okay pseudonym please gardening time okay subject royal affair gossip I read this in another video, but for the sake of this video, I'm reading it. This is so salacious, I'm almost too shook to share with you, but will anyway. This British royal extramarital affair is an open secret in London and amongst the English Aristotle set and is the talk of every party and news desk. At a recent media party, I was told the real reason for the affair was the royal's love of pegging. <laughs> which the wife is far too old-fashioned to engage in the wife doesn't mind her and in fact prefer her husband getting his sexual needs fulfilled elsewhere as long as things don't become emotional which was the case with the last woman email address is my real address so please black out oh my goodness there's this that's the thing they saw of megan to hide his deeds okay ryan air <laughs> has joined the chat i read this oh what's this william we save your seat mm -mm -mm. all right the scream i let out there's that prince of pegging trending in over 30 countries can you imagine that <laughs> you shouldn't leave megan alone i remember listening to tina uh and michelle podcast they keep on saying leave megan alone leave megan alone if you have not if you did so, people will mind their own business. But no, you keep on getting on that woman's business. Okay, he doesn't need to cheat for that. They have a uh, suction cup. Oh my God. 
<laughs> oh my god he doesn't need to cheat for that they have suction cups on the end he needs just oh my god stick it on the shower wall oh my god <laughs> oh my god at least you know this is what some he probably does himself all right but will suction cups sp <laughs> spank you and call you daddy <laughs> coming out of my eyes let's go into that i can't believe amazon might have one <laughs> twitter is crazy twitter is crazy let's go into that amazon might have one or call him your highness who knows <laughs> maybe someone needs to build a spanking machine <laughs> like this big one on the end of this <laughs> oh my god this is freaking going at all going on uh, speaking daddy instead of daddy speaking <laughs> i can't believe this there's this wait what happened <laughs> there's chris here there's this they retweet that Okay, it's as simple as ABC. Aside from Prince William, several netizens also attacked the Duchess of Cambridge using the hashtag Duchess Made of Bum and Duchess of Tights. The online attacks against the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge came after British journalist Tom Bower dropped his new book, Revenge About the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Several netizens also slammed Meghan Markle on the microblogging site for allegedly bullying Princess Charlotte. Oh, so that's why this came about. <laughs> they should leave Megan alone. <laughs> All right, Megan is too old fashioned for it. That part is hard to believe. William is it married to his brother's wife. <clears throat> period all right let's see here they they try all they can to bring megan into the thing okay i don't know how uh, i don't know how legit this receipt is but it's from 20 2015 bro all right there's this here did you know prince william was into pegging during his teenage and college years mm -mm -mm. but the thing is that if it's true this guy know his position everyone around him he should know they're not gonna be really similar to what happened to harry when he went to vegas you know people around you is not to be trusted clearly i have not heard all the latest foreign news all right that's that exactly leave megan alone you see that's the thing i was saying they just need to leave megan alone all right let's see a black tutor has joined the chat prince of pegging prince william racist <laughs> that's right that's this oh my god i was gonna stop but okay Prince William's affair, Prince of Pegging. What is that? That's visive. Cosmo Cosmopolitan.com. Okay, I've tried pegging with my husband. He's definitely a serious partner. I'll also be open to trying it with casual relationships. We're poly and sometimes we play with others. Catherine, 35. Is this for freaking real? Are you for real? Where is the link to this? Rose Handberry, 2016. Oh my God. April 20, uh, 28, 2021. Mm -mm -mm. The biggest scandal is probably not the affair, but a love child. I remember seeing this picture and them was Henry's daughter and Charlotte look uh, look like sisters, Prince William affair. I just saw a picture of Rose, Hanbury's youngest daughter. How many kids she has? I don't even know. My mouth fell open because she looks exactly like Princess Charlotte. All right. Uh, several journalists and others believe that William has a love child with Rose too. British restaurant critics Gal Coran also published a, and deleted a tweet that says, quote, I know about the affair. Everyone knows about the affair, darling. I remember reading this, end quote, in response to an article delineating a long-standing arg argument of sorts between Kate and Rose. And now there are several other folks on social media who are claiming that the affair between William and Rose is definitely real and perhaps ongoing. Mm -mm. There's this again. Okay, exactly. If he leaves Megan in peace, I will not care about what he does. See, this is exactly that. 
nobody really care what anybody does in their bedroom but for some reason his freaking mouth and fingers seems his or his whole being cannot leave megan alone this is why people are pissed this is exactly that all right even chris even said in one of his tweets okay i've been saying the same thing whatever wax is bought he should just remember to leave the black princess alone none of his proclivities would have been of interest to anyone other than exactly this is the thing human being understand real if you true to yourself we understand certain things what you do at your private setting your home your bedroom especially your bedroom we don't care but but you are into megan's and harry's business especially megan's leave her alone much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family the royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press but you are and to Megan's and Harry's business, especially Megan's. Leave her alone. What it means is that a senior figure in the royal household, according to Mel on Sunday, was passing him information uh, in order to help defeat the Duchess's case. But you are and to Megan's and Harry's business, especially Meghan's. Leave her alone. What have been, as we know, is that the Mail on Sunday had the ruling against them in February, and they were then appealing it. So it was lawyers from the Mail on Sunday who would have approached Jason Naff, knowing that these emails and messages existed. Mm. That would have been the point, unless, I mean, the most likely outcome is that Jason obviously would have then gone to William and Kate and clearly he has cooperated. He would not have cooperated he would not have with those without lawyers their without their definite knowledge. Everybody, the squad have been saying it way before I got into this. Leave Megan alone again and again and again and again. Leave Megan alone. Just leave her alone. Don't even think about her. All right? Mind your own business. Think instead of thinking of Megan, think how are you gonna collect the taxpayers money okay just leave Megan alone but each time you open your mouth about Megan you just really ignite us to talk more about your BS we don't care what you do in your bedroom but you seem like cannot mind your own business so we got we have to get into your business an eye for an eye and i've told my followers many times i'm not you know i'm not that angel all right i didn't say i was perfect but i try to be i try to be all right it doesn't promise it's gonna end up as perfectly as i would like to but you keep on bothering megan all right there's this uh that's all we asked for there it is okay that part exactly no peace for until they leave megan alone and leave megan alone that's it just leave megan alone okay it's adorable and it's not rocket science just leave megan alone you see there it is okay agree but i'll need reparation too if they want all the jokes to stop okay facts <laughs> okay okay damn it i'm going to end up having to explain pegging to my 80 year old mother who follow british royal family gossip <laughs> that's the laugh good luck the london fog is piping hot today okay girl there is no fog in london is that what he said <laughs> I just got diagnosed with COVID today. Nothing in the world can bring me comfort except TFG literally exploding and this thread. All right. If you had your vaccine, your vaccination and all of that, I think you should be okay. Look at the, uh, uh, but take it seriously though. Um, why is it President Biden? He had uh, COVID not too long ago and then he's fine now. There's this again, the onion. On special occasion, I'll let Kate speak to her family to insist that she's doing fine and has never been happier. <laughs> Prince William and Kate Middleton. Okay, celebrity couples explain what made their marriage last. <laughs> okay, and pegging. <laughs> That's common, daughter. And pegging, don't forget the, the pegging. Okay, I read this already. 
uh, why people are retweeting that <laughs> oh my god does this exactly then they drill it over and over snickering quote royalty is not hollywood and quote why are they comparing royalty with celebrities Mm -hmm. except your marriage has been dead for years and you don't live together mm, okay all right where is the bit about pegging or is that only the mistress <laughs> prince of prince william affair prince of pegging all right there's this well she knows to keep her man happy he needs to be pegged a few times a month <laughs> Prince of pegging. There's that. The tea. Those two pigeons and their festive look are showing the rest of us how a lasting marriage is done. Mm mm mm. She won't even let him. Smooth gate, real smooth. There's that. Ha ha ha. Okay, I want problems always. I don't want peace. There's that. Uh, Leah Flower 2017. I'm screaming. There's that. Now, let's. Where is it? Mm, no peg. <laughs> Oh, when the onions headlines the tamer than reality, life is strange. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next one. Okay, I'm already 30 minutes. Okay, what is pegging, please? Trending in Australia, Prince of Pegging. <laughs> oh my god, it's trending everywhere. <gasps> There's this, you guys could read it, okay? Read it yourself. Freeze your screen and read it. There, let me move on. Uh, pegging is a woman, okay? There, oh my god there's images on that one let me move it quick because i know Twi uh, youtube is gonna black me great explanation <laughs> less traumatizing <laughs> for some people <laughs> oh my god this is where most of us started yesterday if we tell you no way you're gonna remember so take out your little old iphone love go to google icon and the search box by pegging then read voila <laughs> google it but maybe not at work computer yeah yeah there's this here <laughs> let me move out of this i skipped some images due to youtube okay youtube will just black my the whole video you won't even see it at all okay buckingham palace entrance having to explain prince of pegging to the queen <laughs> god the squad are crazy i say say what now <laughs> the squad <laughs> the, e the emojis the gif everything many of us imagine or want to see the scene <laughs> okay bucky and palace entering after finding out she then needed to explain there's that there's the laugh okay lady you are on fire this week i'm telling you <laughs> give me your phone yikes later the poor guys was killed by a squirting acid flower <laughs> the one who had to explain to the queen that's what she's saying here people are just laughing all right let's go to the next one. Oh, uh, what does this say here i do not envy that guy i bet he envy williams however <laughs> uh, uh, uh. let's go here next tweet so let me get this straight they hated her American ways, but the Cambridge want a slice of the American pie publicity. Prince of Pegging, Prince William of Fair. That's regarding him coming to the U.S., regarding the earth shot, whatever he's doing. All right. There's this here. And this one is making reference to that. So they want the publicity. Okay, no, they're hoping people are dumb enough to turn on Harry because they're such wonderful people. They aren't. And we see more of it every day. At least Harry and Meghan work selflessly for others. Those two haven't done one thing to help anyone but themselves. Okay, no, they want American money. He's so jealous of Harry loving welcome from the US. And he wants some love. So he'll take it and 10, 50, 100. <laughs> In terms of dollars. But it must be a plastic bag. That's how senior royals like their money yeah the father having cash coming from the middle east okay exactly they need to try and prove that they're also popular in america they pick boston where i live because they think the people here won't protest their visit like they their last caribbean tour it could go either way they could be snub or protest all right they all love here earth chat is an amazing initiative with partners throughout the world obviously to include the u.s i see that uh, comment somewhere else i think i was recording in one of my videos okay they'll do anything for money that's for sure yeah william and kate hated megan american ways is code they hated she was black and brilliant but they will all spend it a different way 
Kezi. I heard no one have been able to get permits from Boston to protest again. Uh, the Boover Hato and the Duchess no pegging. Don't DM me for more information because I did not apply to the city for a permit and now nothing more. Uh, whatever okay in other word they like green just not black <laughs> exactly i thought this was a pun for the a movie american pie okay make it make sense delusional is a real thing there's the thumbs up let's go to the next tweet oh my god the thing of pegging just went viral i think i'm just gonna leave the search regarding the metadata thing i can find a screenshot i bet you once i finish edit that video that's when i'm gonna find it okay prince of pegging next tweet prince of pegging prince william is going to the women's euro 2022 final on sunday he then go to the opening ceremony not to any england games now he is catching a ticket to the final anything for a little positive PR Prince of Pegging loser. I uh, I didn't know was he president of something or is it just for the men? Version of the soccer something. He's a president of something. But anyway, and we're all hoping for another repeat from the crowds at the stadium for little old Willie boohoo. He he, how sweet is that? I'm hoping they chant pegging pegging. <laughs> He's gonna get up and leave. <laughs> Okay, I must change my name. Have the H or H at the front. All right. Yes, that's not right. Hopefully, he will do the right thing and give his ticket to a young friend that hasn't got one. Okay, wonder if he knows about his pegging reputation on social media. I'm sure he knows because he's looking for positivity. So I'm sure he's on social media. Because if he didn't, if he wasn't following things on social media, how will he be buying bots uh, to match uh, Harry and Meghan's? Uh, IG post. Okay, he didn't go to my graduation either. Okay, I haven't heard cadging in a long time. There's this. Okay, won't it be funny as hell if the crowd started hashtag? Can you imagine that? Th that would be major embarrassing right in his face. You're being led up the garden oatmeal. He was booed in one of the football games this year, maybe playing it safe. <laughs> Let's see here. They tried to spin it in a different way. I have that image of him crying after that. Uh, they say it was crying. I don't know. All right. Now the Rangers want Harry to make a statement to stop people joking about William being into bum play. <laughs> bum play. The same William that said nothing when Harry's child was called a monkey. Mm? He's like, nope, nope nobody's gonna come to his rescue all right bear in mind that the karen's calling for the manager were only just last week sharing hashtag calling princess megan a sex offender really how come i didn't come across it well I, lately i've been trying to keep up with my editing so maybe what i didn't know about that okay so um, let's see. Bear in mind that the Karens calling for the manager were only just last week sharing a hashtag calling Princess Megan a sex offender because she didn't want her bridesmaids to wear tights on a hot day. Okay, I remember that. Yes, 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 yes. They're only uh, salty. Okay, they're only salty. It uh, then take off. <laughs> Okay, the extra audacity comes from the fact the person tweeting this work as a mouthpiece for Lady Colin Kendall. Ah, whose slurs against Megan are myriad and far more repugnant than a consensual adult sex act. All right, let's see here. Can you imagine how beautiful it would be if Prince Harry made a statement condemning the vulgar hashtag circulating about his brother on Twitter today, telling his supporters, to but guess what? Then Harry and Megan said they're not on social media, so they don't know anything about that. So don't try to bring Harry into this. Uh -uh. and then what will be the next time his brother doesn't learn from experience okay and then if harry for example we know harry and megan are not on social media so that's not gonna happen for his rescue okay let's just say if that if harry did come and defend uh, william okay for a brother who never learned from his mistake okay harry come and save him and whatever guess what william is gonna pick another problem of harry all right, probably use that against him again. So it's best for Will, uh, for Harry to just stay quiet. All right, this is the thing here, the pattern of things. You, they never learn, okay? They never learn. They're going to use Harry's rescuing him against him again. All right, so 
Nah, it's best to just stay quiet. And then we've told you how to stop this. Okay? The squad have been telling you guys for a very long time. Leave Harry and Megan, especially Megan, alone. Just leave them alone. Okay? If Harry and Megan wants uh, their work to be publicized, the squad got that. Don't worry about that. You don't need to talk about their work either because every time you talk about their work, is the negative side of it. Uh, the squad got this under control. Don't mention them at all. Just keep their names out of your mouth because everything you spew is negative. Just leave them out of your mouth and then we'll leave you alone. Uh -huh. This is the way I'm... Well, let me just say, this is me. I'm talking for myself. Leave Harry and Megan alone. Okay? For myself. Let's see. Telling his supporters to stop the hateful rhetoric, knowing William won't be able to. <laughs> now that would be a compassion and action. What is it? Uh, Harry had come to everybody's say, um, rescue back in the days. But guess what? All of them threw him under the bus. So guess what? He learned. Harry learned from past experiences. He's moving on. All right. Right now, his energy and compassion and rescuing is preserved for his little family. He's creating. All right. This is what happened when you trash people. When you really need them, okay, they're not gonna come to your rescue because you have shown no compassion, no respect, nothing. So Harry's just saving his energy for his family. It's not like I know what Harry is doing, but this is how I will take it. All right, let's continue. All right, Peggy is going, oh, that's a thread. Okay, but the cherry on the audacity cake is Buckingham Palace, Clarence House, and Kensington Palace all got together to make a joint public statement condemning the BBC when they fear their media games to destroy Meghan will be exposed. But the virtual against Archie and Lily, hmm, <laughs> nothing they don't hear they don't see their mouth shut all right uk royal family this is the thing the squad remember uk royal family issued joint statement criticizing documentary by british broadcaster buckingham palace kensington palace and clarence house issued joint statement saying that it was disappointing that uk broadcaster chose to air allegation all right anything to save their butt they'll come out but for harry's family and especially megan and especially a child who can even defend himself but none of you came to his rescue all right but the world got their backs okay they're always begging for harry to save bullion okay even without the history the younger son have to keep saving the older one and un unnatural this man is so inadequate my god and I, there's a a, a a video i came of course i could never find it again i don't think i recorded and i think it was when i was going to twitter to save stuff for you guys but by the time i was ready to record then see it there was a video of harry and william and there was a third person all right they were going through stuff some images even uh, pictures and harry even made a joke when they go to another country uh, the gift that they bring to the other country is a image of themselves and he thought that was really ridiculous uh, ridiculous all right within that video harry said when he went to school the same school that william was in he thought william will come to his rescue uh, because he was so afraid and stuff like that you know what william did william didn't even realize uh, like he existed he didn't even come to his rescue nothing you should have see harry's face when he was saying that he looked so vulnerable when he said that and i felt really i felt his pain when he was saying that i don't know if i recorded it i don't know i hope i did but i i won't even know which video it's in okay there's this here so now they want woke prince harry to preach to us from his 15 million 15 million dollar mansion with 26 bedroom okay will you look at that <laughs> did these governments forget how willie sent his top boy to help the daily fail when duchess of sussex sued them that's the thing the squad remember all right the same william that actively supported the sunday time and lawsuit the same one that was actively working with thomas marco to stop the wedding let me think <laughs> right so um that may that may have been one of the things that upset her and of course the photographs were 
a setup. I was uh, uh, set up by a guy named Jeff Rayner and um, uh, uh, another guy named Dylan Howard, who, who was uh, with American Media, I think. And the whole thing was a plan to actually mess up the wedding. Okay, what does heavy have to do with any of this? That's dumb. William's a big boy and he doesn't need heavy to fight his battle. I didn't see the Cambridges ever defending heavy and Megan. More likely, they were the source of the leak. There it is. Much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family. The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. The most likely outcome is that Jason obviously would have then gone to William and Kate and clearly he has cooperated. He would not have cooperated he would not have with those without lawyers their without their definite knowledge. Okay, Harry's not William Messiah. <laughs> Has William stopped them from piling on Harry and his wife? They do this often as if Harry or Meghan can stop his karma. Uh, like I said in one of my video, the day that William made his announcement uh, for the BBC to disregard his mother's uh, interview and then calling his mom Paranoa, all right, this is the day that Princess Diana turned her back on him this is the day that was the day all right however i do not think princess diana will add to his pain because the mother's love is still there but the minute because she tried her best when she was alive to put the words out because the pain and anguish that she was going through all right she tried her best to do what she could do to put the word out in the physical world but now that she's in the spiritual world where she was trying to protect you, whatever, I never been to the afterlife. I do not know how the spiritual world works. Okay. But I know it has done wonders to, for me. All right. But whatever she was doing for him and the spiritual world to protect him, shield him the same way she was doing, she is still doing for Harry. Okay. But the day that William called his mom paranormal, this is the day I believe Princess Diana turned her back. However, I truly believe she will not add to his pain because this is a mother. All right. Whatever you spew and whatever the boomerang is going to do, she's not going to come to uh, black it for you. She's, in other words, she's just turning a blind eye. I'm just scoot on over and let you whack him. Get him again. Get him for me. I will not say you don't exist to her. It's just that she doesn't need to see the problem that you're going through. She's not going to come to do that uh, instinct movement to black anything that's coming your way. She's just mind her own business, focus on probably the grandkids and her other son, Harry, and focus on that. But uh, you disrespect her. You disregard her... Uh, her pain that she was going through so there's no reason for her to protect you because if she keep on protecting you you're gonna have energy to keep on bashing on her all right let's continue to read the same william that saw all Tanjvai, he was done putting his arm around his brother. Yep, that's the same one. The same William that probably on narrative that he stopped Harry's child being christening in the UK. That same William? Hmm. Okay, no worries. William will just write a statement inside Harry's name, just like he did with that bullying statement he released. Uh, what bullying statement? I'm not aware of that. Bully statement. Okay, I'm not aware of that. Maybe I did, but I'm not sure. They always been bad players. There's a laugh. We'll drag him until another reason to drag him again will be given to us. Next week probably as Prince of Prague is a very prolific. Alright, there's that again. If Harry was to defend William about the trending hashtag in regard to begging would be sensational. Imagine it. I am sure the Devengers don't really want Harry to do that. Mm -hmm. They're going to find something and whatever it is to blame Harry again. So it's best harry already said he's not on social media because these derangers are indeed deranged prince of pegging prince william affair prince williams is hypocrite okay or when they were calling megan pedophile or something like that for abusing charlotte 
Mm, mm, mm. Care forgive my ignorance because I grew up as an only child. Is it an older sibling's job to defend their younger sibling? Yep, that's the thing that, that the video that I came across where he was supposed to defend her and then defend Harry when Harry first came to the school. Instead, he just ignored ignore him okay the prince of pegging never defend his little brother from media attacks mm -hmm. all right let's see here this will be it and then go to the next tweet uh prince bomo and his contract wife <laughs> contract wife <laughs> control c <laughs> that's copy won't ever had any peace until they do right by harry and megan and their children even now they are actively working against them until then everything they touch will continue to fail Okay, everything you've done to me, always done to you. All uh, right, they always defend William by saying he's not responsible for Megan's and now they want Harry to say something. All right, there's more. Let's move on to the next tweet. Yep, the squad of elephant. They're not going to come <laughs> to defend you. All right, they'll be there, be more than ready to drag you. Okay, what is... What is that? Harry and Meghan always must come in defense of others, but others can do the same for them. When Archie was called a monkey, not a single member of the British royal family spoke out. William certainly has enough power to send his lawyers, just like he has done before. Mm-hmm. All right. Is anyone suggesting they should defend anyone? Let's see. The Rangers are asking Harry to defend the Prince of Pegging. <laughs> There is nothing to defend. It's a perfect natural thing to enjoy between consenting adults. Yeah, it is. But we're talking about it. Furthermore, how will Harry defend against this exactly? Denying it? How could, <laughs> how could he know what the truth is? Uh, while speaking out about Prince Baltimore, alleged affair was called uh, a violation of his human rights by palace official, but calling baby Archie a monkey was what? Who knows? Because the palace said nothing, but they sure can protect a grown man who needs spiders on a log. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is freaking ridiculous. Sussex Squad. <laughs> This is the thing the squad made a video about it. Okay, well said. Did anyone in the royal family speak out in defense or support of Harry and Meghan? Nope. It was always never explained, never complained when it came to them. Is William going to defend Meghan against that lie about Meghan making Charlotte cry? Let them kick rocks. Okay, exactly. If they deny Kate getting Botox, they can't for sure deny this or quote, launch an investigation and quote, and bury the findings. LOL, Prince of Peg. <laughs> launch an investigation and then bury the finding <laughs> it's true though you are so right amen willie is a grown man he can face his own mess now we know why he doesn't like andrew ah really he doesn't okay i don't know mm -mm -mm. this is why andrew's trying to get as much as he can out of uh out of the queen william we save your seat <laughs> Is that everyone in Britain knows? Oh my god, earth shot hypocrite William. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they create a ha hashtag on that. All right, that's the laugh. Do you fly to Boston, Prince of Pegging, earth shot Boston 2022, earth shot hypocrite William? There's a laugh, people are laughing. No, three seats, please. William, Rose, and Kate. <laughs> oh my god. Can we rename Earthshot Backshot? Oh my god, asking for a friend, Prince of Pegging. <laughs> I just realized that, <laughs> Prince of Pegging. Lord, I've been in Corfu for a week and lagged back onto this. Okay, girl, you picked the right time to come home. <laughs> Earthshot Hypocrite Prince William. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Isabel just had a coronary. I was laughing so hard and she just fell over out of nowhere. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. There's this. See what you did there, Rainer? Mm -mm -mm. Prince of Pegging. There's this. Is this why he preferred to fly budget on occasion? <laughs> the next level trolling. <laughs> Big mouth. <laughs> I'm telling you. Anyone got some more context? One of Prince of Pegging, little secret held by the Daily Fell and Rupert Murder. Okay, get the strap. Oh my God, it's affordable. There's that. Let's go to the next one. I have two more tweets. 
after this one. I came for one thing and then there's me here. Care to thank taxpayers pay for that trap of <laughs> Okay. To thank taxpayers pay for that strap on Prince of Peg. There's a laugh. Oh, I didn't think about that one, Prince of Pegging. Okay, of course, for protection, police were also protecting him too. <laughs> taxpayers pay for the strap and the strap <laughs> taking a helicopter, right? Okay, lol, this is actually the best tweet. Okay, sure, why not? It's everything things that they like touches, they think is their kingdom, so why not take a dump in it? The lady's yard because her gardener blew your backside out for trying to play and his rose bush. Oh my god, boom from my head. <laughs> okay, bahaha, get the strap. Okay, the way the head keeps on coming. Y'all are wild out here on this Twitter street. There's this. Okay, ouch, baby, very ouch. Where is the lie? Okay, that approvals. All right, there's more, but let's move on. I don't think I'm, maybe I'll do a prayer. Prayer for the squad, I guess. All right, sorry, but who, who in their right mind will ever want to peg Prince William? May I ask, just the mental image of it is almost sending me over the edge. <laughs> Prince of pegging. I hope they pay Rose a pretty penny. Okay, because they have standard too, despite what some people think. If the fee is right, I'm sure an obliging person can be found. There's a laugh, there's this. Somebody take this user's phone. Okay, I absolutely 100% agree. Was with the bag of money. Uh, there's this. Okay, hand me your phone. There's the laugh, there's this. Let's move on, my last one. Okay. I hope not to come back on Twitter because I'm gonna get off because I need to finish edit my last one. Okay, Harry said he had to up his game. So how did Megan stalk him? Also, why didn't she stay on Shit Island and not get the hell out of there if she was really, quote, just wanting to marry a prince, end quote. If she wanted that, quote, prince life, end quote, she would have stayed where the crown are, don't you think? All right, so she responding to that and then it started from this, okay? And I'm just going to read what's there. I'm not going to go into this. Tom Barry has admitted that he only spoke to people who don't like Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. So it's absolutely extraordinary broadcaster who will take this as an objective take on what happened. Huh, Lorraine, revenge. So how could, I mean, if you do an investigation, why would you talk to only one specific type? If you do an investigation, shouldn't your mind be bored, bored out on many vast Okay, not just one specific. Okay, so you're not that uh, good of an investigator. Uh, you need to know all sides and then make your final conclusion. But you go only on one side, so not not good at all. All right, they were just worried about Harry's book and their podcast coming out. So this book was written so that they can uh, decredit what they have to say. Let him show me anyone who is not ambitious wanted to marry a king. Kate did the same. Change you need to meet Will. She wanted a king too. Uh, mm, uh, who? Megan wanted a... Who, who else wanted a king too? I'm not sure. Okay, only that Megan then set her eyes on marrying a royal. She went about her business, got married. Kate, on the other hand, changed school, stripped down to her underwear to get his attention. Big difference. Mm-hmm. Yep, I read about that. And then I have that picture on that catwalk. All right. Before, before all this negativity, if you look back, when they're talking about that... Uh, that outfit her walking on the catwalk and all that they were glamorizing it they were glamorizing it they didn't see anything wrong with it until it reaches the sussex squad okay lol she literally stalked harry everyone knows it
surprise. It was so sweet and, and natural and very romantic. He got on one knee. <laughs> then there was hugs and I had the ring in my finger and I was like, can I, can I give you the ring? And she goes, oh yes, the ring. <laughs> I think that I would call it a whirlwind uh, in terms of our relationship. Obviously, there have been layers attached to how public it has become. Um, after we had a good five, six months almost mm. with just privacy. Good five, six months almost mm. with just privacy, which was amazing. Want when it comes to privacy. It's not them who have said they want privacy. It's um, something that the tabloids have said about them that's latched on. They have taken steps when there have been uh, blatant violations, unlawful violations of privacy. Of course, then they challenged it because that's in line with their values. But that doesn't mean just because you assert your human rights that you then become some kind of Trappist monk and take a vow of silence and you're not allowed to discuss anything. That's not how privacy works. Privacy is about the right to own and control what personal information you choose to share with somebody. Just to connect and we never went longer than two weeks without seeing each other. Yes, we first met, we were introduced actually by a mutual friend who um, we will... We should protect our privacy protect and not her privacy, yeah. feel too much of that. And Um, we will. We should protect our privacy protect and not our privacy, reveal yeah. too much of that. And Got it. We met once and then twice, back to back, two dates. Three, maybe four weeks later, that I managed to persuade her to come and join me in Botswana. Persuade her to come and join me in Botswana. We spent she came and joined me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. So then we were really by ourselves. Yeah, so it was definitely yes. a setup. <laughs> it was a blind date. Yeah, understanding of of the royal family, and yeah. so while I now understand very clearly, there's a a global interest there. So the only thing that I had asked her when she said she wanted to set us up was, I had one question. I said, "Was well, he nice? Because if he wasn't kind, it just didn't." It didn't seem like it would make sense, and so we should, yeah. we should meet again. What are we doing tomorrow? Let's meet again. And then it was like, right, diaries. We need to get the diaries out and find out how we're going to make this work, because I was off to Africa for a month. Mm. Um, she was working, and we just said, right, where's where's the gap? I was beautifully surprised when I, when I walked into that room and saw her. And beautifully surprised when I, when I walked into that room and saw her. And there she was sitting there. I was like, OK, well, I really have to up, up, up my game. <laughs> She was sitting there, I was like, okay, well, I really have to up, up, up my game. <laughs> we're, we're a fantastic team, we know we are, and, and we'll, we, we hope to, you know, over time, try and have as much impact for all the things that we care about as, as much as possible. And I have no regrets. It's, it's incredibly sad, but I have no regrets at all because now I'm in, the, in a place where I feel as though I should have been four years ago. Okay, LOL, she literally stuck Harry. Everyone knows it. So that said, I'm going to do a prayer. The prayer, I think I'm going to throw it for the squad. All right. So this is the thing that I went to. Let's start fresh. My Google background is different now. All right. Prayer for, this is for us squaddies. All right. Uh, stay on course. Let's do that. To stay on course. To protect, when I say stay on course, is to our objective. Like, for instance, I create, well, my channel wasn't specifically about the Sussex Squad, but to spread positive uh, message, stay on course, to protect Harry and Meghan, defend them, and stuff like that. Let's use the word stay on course. Pray for staying on course. 
I don't know. Let's see what happened. And then I'll share whatever prayer I come across with you on um, on my community board. Powerful prayers. No, no Jesus, no peace. All right. Uh, prayer for staying the course. Okay. A daily prayer. So that's something. But I was looking for a small prayer on the side. Let's go for image. Oh. Uh, not much. There's this here. Let's do that one. Academic success prayer, college acceptance. Uh, not really for college acceptance, but let's read it, whoever it might help. But I'm going to go back to the uh, search page and then there's some, uh, I'm going to go within a website. Okay. Oh God, my promise keeper, please bless me with the beautiful and fortunate opportunity to attend college. Please take away my fear of rejection and open my eyes to your almighty plan and direction. Please keep my studies diligent as I apply for prestigious school lead me to academic success and know uh, know that my mind is eager for achievement and more knowledge remind me to stay humble and kind please be with me as i await this next academic step in jesus loving name amen as i'm reading this actually i was thinking yesterday i was talking to my oldest because uh before you know it he's gonna have to start thinking of college he's not at the age yet he's not even in high school yet so i told him um i was in the shower and it crossed my mind because now he's into fitness and uh he wants to eat right i try to you know feed them healthy lifestyle but they rejected it but now he's into it so what i told him yesterday is that is to think of uh what is uh not physical therapy uh, sports medicine. Yes. Sports medicine. Giving him idea. I said, look into it. See if it's something you might be interested. Cause when I was young, I did not have people, uh, around me to help guide me into the possibilities is nursing. All right. For some reason, nursing. And I went to nursing school and the waiting list was too long. I was more than happy. And I got there and I used to do drawing as a hobby and I went to do architecture. All right? and I'm not dying into loving architecture like most people would do but um, that's what I study eventually so now I'm giving him option the possibility things that I'm aware of I'm telling him look there's sports medicine and I said maybe by the time you're 16 18 to earn some money you could do personal training all right that to lead you to that all right he's like uh, uh, it's a uh, sports medicine uh better than um, um personal trainer i was like yeah it's almost like you're a doctor all right so i'm giving him option he could do uh personal training uh you know because anybody if you do the test uh you study for it I, I told him you know when you're young to help you pay for your your college and all of that even though we have something set aside for him um you could earn some cash you know by doing personal training because you like to do exercise he's into that now okay he just started he's into that now the other day he's telling us to buy bananas for him i was like what because i'm off now completely all right the reason i'm bringing up this is that the college thing all right yesterday literally yesterday i told him start thinking of things that he would like to do um in college and uh one of the things I had told him to do, because I, I saw him, he loved to do um, coding. I put him in classes for coding. Now he's not into it, but now he's into um, exercise. So I told him, think about sports medicine. All right. So each time he, he's interesting into something, I give him ideas. And I told him he has to go to college or come up with a skills that you have that nobody have that you could earn a living. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have any skills where you can make money, uh, you're going to have to find something to do. All right. So sports medicine is one thing. And he asked me if it's uh, what's the level of the comparison between sports medicine and um, personal trainer. And I told him sports medicine is almost like being a doctor. It's high up there. You could still do sports. You could still do all of that. But come back with something as a backup. Because once you injured, that's it. You, you you won't be able to continue your thing and what i did last year because he was so into due to the pandemic the lack up you know 
doing schooling online so there was no interaction with other people so when um, school start opening and uh, they were doing teams and all of that so i told him to try out and while he's in the tryout i know very well he wasn't good at basketball at all but to get him somewhat motivate him i force him i told him go try if you don't make it that's fine okay i know he was sucked because he doesn't play basketball i put him there he was horrible literally horrible okay i even told the coach he never played but i put him anyway but guess what we i'll tell you if he makes the team uh, this time because he throughout the summer his skills level is up to at a level that is unbelievable so i had to get him somewhat uh, intimidated intimidated to show him kids his age are not just staying in a freaking bedroom playing video game they're doing other things you could still play video game you could still do coding you could still do your reading you could still do it you know uh D do different things but not just one thing sitting in a room close the bedroom so i put him in the thing to get him motivated and i think it worked and you should see him now playing basketball in comparison to in september all right so i said i'm gonna go back uh to pick something else where is that prayer for stress stress what was the thing pray for staying on course staying on course this one a daily prayer let's go into that and i'll read one or two of them why is it so small okay a prayer for staying the course father I stir in my heart the desire to be diligently immersed in the word of god the deceiver is diligent and planting seeds of doubt confusion and clever lies always intending to lead me off course in my spiritual walk as i persevere in reading and applying truth inscribed throughout your word I ward off the incessant pleas for my Satan to yield to sin. I desire to be your faithful follower, not just for a season, but all the way to eternity. It is my heart's desire to influence as many as possible to join me in this noble calling. May you find me faithful so that those who watch my life daily may also find me faithful. Amen. Ah, oh, I didn't expect this to be it's pretty good i like that one what i'll do i'll take a screenshot of this i'll leave the link also and um and this video and also i'm gonna post it and um how do you call this in my community board all right so that's it please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you want to support this channel there's a paypal link in the description you could donate those who have donated thank you and those who have uh, uh become a member i appreciate it and uh, yeah, that's it.